Ede ya şaya gel. Bir bonle. Hey. Bonle. Hey. Bonle. Hey. Bonle. 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 Folks, brand new episode of Do Not Worry on the Docket. How's it going? I'm your host Anthony, coming to you from the zero nine uh, with the interns. How's it going, interns? It's going fine. Not in the kifik. I'm good. Nice mic grab. <laughs> uh, and I'm not doing great. I'm recovering from a very bad case of food poisoning. Uh, I, I'm not. I don't. I'm not going to mention which restaurant I think gave me the food poisoning. It might have something to do with the song that we heard at the beginning, but I can neither confirm nor deny because I ate from multiple places, and I don't know which is the one that ended up messing me up. Because I was literally pooping out, and I was pissing out of my ass yesterday. It was like liquid coming out of my ass. Yeah, in the thanks for the image. It's a very. It was very graphic. I threw up in the morning, uh, th- after after my ass was leaking. <laughs> Then I, I threw up after that. Then when Bada, I ordered lunch. I ordered like plat du jour. I was like, I, I got to eat something like homemade, healthy-ish. Horrible idea. I should have eaten something like dry or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, I didn't know where to get the jeep potatoes or something. I didn't know. I ordered that. Two hours later, I puked it all out. Projectile vomit into a trash can. Uh, I, was, I slept most of the day. I was getting cold sweats, hot sweats, just sweating, sleeping. During the day, getting kind of delirious, and I, I watched the third episode of, of House of the Dragon. For some parts of the day, I felt like I was like in the show. It was so weird, man. It's so weird when like you can't, you can no longer tell fa- uh, reality from fiction. I had a horrible day, but I feel a lot better today, thankfully. I'm eating a lot of batata mishuiim and al kababji. That that's been my diet for the past two days. I feel like Matt Damon in The Martian. But anyways, folks, we got a lot of things to talk about today. We got some updates on Jovi, Uyupala. We found Uyupala, okay? Turns out he was right in front of us the whole time, but we didn't know. Uh, Anna, some updates on Al Fashion Zone, some Razor Cut. Uh, we were talking uh, Shada is back. He's doing mukbangs now, apparently. Um, uh, There's a bunch of whole, whole bunch of things we're going to talk about. Rings, uh, The Rings of Power at the end, some more Game of Thrones. We're going to compare how Lord of the Rings is doing versus Game of Thrones. We've got some new barbers that, that we're going to discuss as well. A whole bunch of random reactions and stuff. Just the good, good, old, good old stuff. Before we get going, take a second to like the video. Leave a comment. Your engagement is very helpful for a small channel like this one. So we appreciate you. Subscribe to the channel. Become a Do Not Warrior. Help us get to the 10,000 subscriber mark. And uh, consider supporting us on Patreon. We have a Patreon with many different levels. Uh, and it's essential to keep this channel going. You help us cover... Uh, the intern salaries you help us cover new equipment vlogs uh, special documentaries a whole bunch of things we really couldn't do this without you so if you'd like to support our channel uh, take a look at the link in the description and consider joining our patreon and uh, let me just take a second to thank some a brand new patron actually uh, diana mukaddam thank you diana for joining our patreon and let us thank some god tier patrons like jessica ann muhammad zain muhammad naamani you guys help us at the highest level, we could not do this without you, so thank you, we love you. And some other fantastic patrons, like some superhero patrons, like Rasha Audi, Mo Hariri, Jad Al Hajj, Mark Bashalani, Dani Karam, and some beautiful blonde patrons like Jad Al Hajj, Firas Abu Fakhir, Jad Sabr, Leonardo Sawaya, Enzo S, Joe Khuri. Thank you guys so much, we love you, we could not do this without you. Uh, you guys remember, <laughs> start with a few random reactions. You guys remember we went to Dream Park not too long ago. And while we went there, I, uh, and I, I felt light nafse on the pirate thing, which gave me a relief because I'm like, you know what? I guess I'm at the age where I don't like doing rides anymore. I feel kind of nauseous. But also part of me always hates doing rides because, look, they're risky. Like, let's be real. You know, maintenance is a big problem with Dream Park. You know what I mean? It, it looks kind of dangerous. So this is, this is a video that came out of India of a, of a ride. Now, it's not, this isn't funny. But uh, just look at this ride and let's let's uh, here's why Anthony doesn't like getting on rides anymore. It's, it feels like a useless risk, you know. Look at them spin all around. It's fun. It's probably going to drop and go back up. Whoopsie. Oh, man, that got loud. Uh, let's watch that again, shall we? So they're up there. Ha- no one was hurt, by the way, as far as we know, just minor injuries. So they're having a good time. Oh, screws loose. Bam. 
تاجو برو تاجو طلع انا لاحظت انه بس قلب بتكلم ايه مركده everyone ran away bro They're like i don't want to see this no قصدك كانوا قاعدين I know a lot of the people you see running away are people that are just watching. Most of the people that came out Dean brother are recovering. That was a huge shock. Oh oh that was bad man. Yeah, like that's like this is in India. Let's let's be real now. India is a uh, it's kind of a, you know, like but maintenance so it's kind of like a third world country so you know their parks aren't going to be very safe. ما كان بدي اقول لانه اتس ان انديا بس قلت ما فيني اقول هيك اتس ريسست يمكن لا انا عادي اتس ان انديا نحن بلبنان كمان لايك اف ذس هابن ان لبنان اي وود نوت بي شوكت اي وود بي لايك ايه اتس ان لبنان ذس از ان انديا اي جيت ات ذس ستف هابنز ايفري وير ذس ستف هابنز ات ديزني لاند نوت از اوفتن بس انه هابنز سو اني ويز ذس از واي انتوني دوزنت دو رايدز اني مور سو ذاتس فان وي جات انذر راندوم ريكوست ذس كيم فروم باتريك حداد اي ثينك هي واز فيري انسستنت ذات وي واتش ذس فيديو Uh, it's a cafe, and I actually it turns out I saw this. He was like, I can't believe you guys didn't talk about this last week. I did see this, but I don't know why I didn't talk about it. So here is a cafe. Malim Samir made the music video for TikTok about his cafe. I guess let's just check it out. The fans not even on. Bless you. Amazing. Anjad. It's pretty I catchy. I feel so bad for this this child. I'm not sure if he's going to be Muhammad or the child. What's his name? Maruha. Maruha. It's not even on. That's the funny thing. Yeah. The child is Muhammad. No, no. He's going to be Muhammad. He's Maruha. Hey, Haram. You got to do it for the TikTok. You got to do it for the Tiki Talks. Okay, uh, let's move uh, on. Sen, yeah. uh, now that you said that, there's a TikTok for Elio. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you download it? It's yeah, called yeah. Elio Serious. Being Serious, yeah. yeah. But on that note, fine. Let's, let's, let's skip ahead a little bit. I guess people are going to talk about the TikTok. This is Elio Ilay, our good friend. Explaining uh, kind of this, uh, this phenomenon that we've been observing on the show for months. And why is there a lot of people on TikTok? Well, he's going to explain it to you folks. اليوم <تصفيق> إذا ما بتنهبلوا ما بتنجحوا. إيمان. كن يه. أنا ركز شوي على الفيد لأنه هلكونا بالفيد إنه هن بيعملوا فيد. منيح اللي اخترعوا لكم المكانات ورقم واحد واثنين وثلاثة تتعاملوا فيد. اليوم بدي أقول لكم يه وقت اللي بتفوتوا على البيج اللي عندي على التيك توك في شيء هيك مربع ملون هيدا اسمه انستغرام بتفوتوا بتكبسوا عليه بتشوفوا الريزر كات والكلاس تبعه والقصيت تبعه. وأنا اللي بدي أقول لكم يه أنا عم بنهبل تأطلع. بس انا ذكي كثير ورح فرجيكم هذا الشيء رح اخترع اني تردبل ما بتتعبى مي بلله منيحه هي اه ما فهمت ما فهمت قصه الانين وما بتتعبى مي وما اي ثينك انه عم بيلطش انه اي جيس هير زون وقت بيضيف ردبل للعالم بيكون يمكن حاطط لهم مي اور سمثينج يمكن هيك قصده بس اي دونت نو يعني اتس كايند اوف بوسي شوي All right, before we jump into the uh, Yupala and Jovi follow-ups that we did for last week, بس بدنا بعد نحضر شغلة عن الشادة أخونا الشادة. He's back, folks. We haven't talked about Joseph Shada in a while. He's been kind of quiet على the TikTok front. ما بعرف اختفى شوي. He's been quiet, but he's back and with a mukbang. He's, I guess, he's trying this out. Who knows how long this is going to last? Shada has a tendency of بينط من شغلة لشغلة. He doesn't really commit. فتنشوف كم مكبان حيعمل من بعد هيدا بس he went to pizza hut و uh, let's, let's check this out شتقنه له لحشادة oh my god what's happening Mr. Lova 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 Mr. Lova Lova اليوم رح ندوق الميكس بلاتر من عند pizza hut حطينا كفوف للنظافة cheese rolls 
تشيكن مع قطعتين جارليك براد هيدا الشي قتل ايوه الساوند افكت تشيكن كان فيهم يكونوا كريسبي اكثر التشيز منيح بس انه احسن في عنا شيء من الفرن يعني الواتشز كثير طيبين الشادر تشيز سالتهم طلع ما عندهم جارليك براد بس ما عنا شيء زياده يعني كان في ما يكون إذا عندكم أسامي مطارح بتحبوا إني أجربها اكتبوا لي بالكومنتس براذر عندهم كاتس هيك شي سبلت سكند كل وحدة وشرشة حول المحل ما حب شي بهال ما هيك؟ ما حب شي بالبلاتر يعني I like how ruthless شادا is every every other Oh look at that smile Beautiful smile Every other TikToker or food reviewer that goes they generally just have nice things to say about restaurants so I stop you don't listen to these people شادا خلص نزل فيه الجارليك براد ما عجبه شادا بس ما عجبه التندرز aren't crispy enough. The cheese, the cheese rolls, eh, hadik, مثل شيفرن قال. He didn't like anything. Actually, ثانية ثانية بس. I think اليوم شفت بوست إلو منزل this act, this exact frame on Instagram. Instagram, something about that about about a smile with the caption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the same. It is exactly the same. Oh, حطيت بروفايل كمان. It's the same. What's the what's the caption? And that smile was a symbol of strength and hope. It is, Yashada. It is. We are. 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 We In that viral video from like 10 years ago, Ala Malik Maktabi, Jovi Uyupala, the guys who did haircuts, Ufer, Emo, and all that stuff. Turns out, some people knew about that before. Nahna, we didn't. It was it was a shock to us. But so we 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 found out a lot of new things over this past week. First of all, Uyupala and Jovi were break dancers. They were known for break dancing. Umish and no like. One or two people reached out to me to tell me that they knew them. Like ev- they were a, s- a staple. I'm 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 barely shocked that every single person who walked around with one of those fair haircuts, they got it. Menu pala ujovi. Yeah, no way. Let's check it out. Let's see some of. Deja, I'm just gonna read some of the messages that I got. So Hone, uh, LGI, haha. That episode brings me back to the old emo days. I was an emo kid myself. I knew Yupala can hella around 2009, 2010. This is a friend of ours, uh, Kamal from Tribu. Uh, there, he's also a patron. Come in, Ashaba, in the message. Yo, dude, watching the episode now, and you made me realize something. Jovi used to be in the church, Ra'iye, close to my place when I was a kid. Him and Yupala were one of the best break dancers in the country, and I even cut my hair at his at his shop once. Uh, my friend Danny, I ask him, I'm like, dude, the, did you know that they're break dancers? He's like, yeah, I, that's how I knew them. I'm like, did you know he was hair zone? He's like, Yupala is called that because he could spin like one. So Yupala could spin like a Yupala, I guess. That's where he got his name. Got another message from Wissam on Instagram. Uh, I was asking if anyone has video footage of them dancing. He re- he replies, "Oof! I wish I knew this would come up 15 years later. I would have saved the videos. I lived my teens in this community. We would all meet in the Luna Park Daura every Saturday for many years. And I guess they would like break dance, so they would film it. Shit's hilarious, bro. Literally, everyone knows them. This other guy, Eddie Matta, sends a, writes a comment. Guys, when I seen a album cut, Birch Hamoud, who will assess? Yeah, ha ha, yem. So no, I guess Jovi Uyupala hen el asis. Hon am narar fasade. I went once to Uyupala and Jovi in 2011. Came back home with my new punky hairstyle, and my parents didn't let me in. And he sent us pictures. And Ralph sent us pictures of his haircut. Let's check out his haircut. So this is Ralph fasade and his cousin. So here's Ralph on the right, <laughs> and his cousin on the left. Brother. The second, like <laughs> his cousin, mom, he like he cut the hair from the back, bus. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. The, yeah, it must, must have been all spiky like stuff. The, the iconic uh, scene, emo haircut. And this is Ralph on his own, standing there with Aww. the jacket. That's so awesome, man! Thank you so much for sending <laughs> the picture, by the way. This is awesome. And yeah, look, Halalik, this is a this is a pretty good. It's spiky. It's not as extreme. His cousin got the way more extreme haircut. Yeah. His cousin yeah. Haram. Well, let's see what he, he like. Hey, peeps, as per your request, my haircut at Jovi back in 2010, and that's my cousin next to me. Apologies to your cousin if she didn't want this to be online, but it's on the internet forever now. <laughs> so, so Dija, that's a new fact. There, break dancers. Nuslibnain asis and Jovi apparently. Nuslibnain. Hala, we failed to get. 
any breakdancing footage, right? We couldn't find. We asked you guys. We reached out on Instagram. Please, if you have any breakdancing footage of Yupala Ujovi, please send it to us. We're always open and receptive to that. But let's keep exploring. So first, we were asking, when Jov when Yupala, when Yupala. Turns out these two photos about last week that we were looking at, Yupala was right there in this first photo. He's right here doing a thumbs up. And then here, he's the guy in the orange shirt. Kamena Yupala. So he's been with Jovi all these years. They're still together. They're still partners. They're still going strong. God bless them. And now Jovi runs Hair Zone LB. Uyupala runs Fashion Zone LB. So it's actually two businesses. We're gonna first, here's Yupala today. We found his Instagram. His name is Yusuf Muarzil or Mukarzil. Anna, I thought his name was Yupala because Yusuf. Yusuf Yupala. I think it's because he spins like <laughs> Yupala is what we found out. So Yusuf Muerzil, like it made Yupala Yusuf, he found the thing that works. Mike, it's like a nickname. It mixes with both. It's a mix of both. I'm the 10.5k followers on Insta. Look, I got, he's got a golden smile. Look at that smile. He seems like such a, honestly, he seems like a very nice dude. He seems very likable. Are these veneers like Jovi Mabarif? They're very white teeth. But so no, he's got a golden smile. And let's, uh, Let's get an idea of fashion fashion zone. He doesn't appear in a lot of the TikToks. He used to be in the earlier TikToks about fashion zone. And there's a, a girl that says, Bonjour! We're going to get to know her. And uh, there's another salesman there. But Yupala is behind the scenes. But let's, let's just watch, okay? Oh. Okay. He's cute. He's actually cute. Like no, in <laughs> <laughs> is it TikTok? Hon, uh, Hon, I think he might do a bit of dancing. Le king of fashion. Like not bad transitions. Yeah, he's good. He's good. La shatir el yupala khay shatir. We're not from love. We stand Jovi and Yupala. We love both. Hala kaman. I want to clarify some things. You might have to mute some of these. Wow, look at the transition. Look, he's got pretty good transitions. Definitely. Uh, you pull as good. If you had where he's, he's kind of going to dance, which I kind of want to... I think this is the one. Because I want to give you guys a taste of his of his dancing. Like with Air Jordan. Kilo dripped out with Air Jordan top to bottom. So that's our boy Yupala. Hello, let me show you some more uh, recent stuff from the Elb Fashion Zone LB. Bonjour, here's the bonjour lady. She's the main salesperson on the fashion zone. He is uh, he is a The camera is like <laughs> constantly. We have some more bonjours. So explore. Like how do you explore on a video? Bye bye. to get something on TikTok. Explore function. Ma, ma capsule. Like what's what's that? Like ma, she's she's gonna answer all your questions. Bonjour. Like One more bonjour. It's like ear cancer. But why would someone want that to be their gimmick? Bonjour, hello, the Sail. Taib. Hello, I'm a surprise visit al fashion zone. Weirdly enough, we've 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 chronicled the beef bin hair zone razor cut extensively on the show. I'm starting to think like it's all fake beef, Sadahatan, because shufu. Uh, Yupala, ya jamaa, poyno yupala. كنا قاعدين عم نشرب نسكافيه هرب لعنا ليك شو صار فينا 
من جبال على السبتية دغري لأنه قال لي صاحبي روح يلا محل نشري تيشرت قلت له غير عند يقبلة مش رايح على فكرة عنده حدا كتير قوي والتصوير الحقوني تقول لكم حقوني بتضل تقول بونشور بونشور انت؟ ليك على فكرة انه كتير قوية بالتصوير وانا اليوم اصلا جيت اخذ التيشرت تصور انا وياه اخوتي وبعدين بونشور لا لا هلكتينا هلكتينا خيي بدي كذا تنقي لي كم شو بتمشي؟ بلوزة واحدة بس مبلوكين اهلا وسهلا خيي بنقول المبلوكين والبونشور كنا جايين ناخذ تيشرت واحدة طلعنا بشي 8 9 مليون من عندي يا جماعة شو هيك البونشور شو عملت يطلع قوي ريس قوي بتيابك وبموصفينك بس لا يوبلا منه بقى ولا فيديو هيك يوبلا از مور لوكي حسيت نيعا يلا Yeah, uh, I guess he doesn't want to be. My bad, man. He wants to be more behind the scenes. He, does, he doesn't want to be one of the cringe lords about TikTok. Hey, cause Yupala is not a cringe person, مثل بقية. So perhaps he wants to avoid avoid yeah. that. I think he he doesn't like what what has become of uh, of Jovi. He's like, you know what? I don't want to become you, man. So Hone Jovi, Hala is gonna give us a tour of the fashion zone, Kamena. Hone, you're gonna see Jovi being more of himself. Hone, when he's away from 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 hair zone. He could be Shway, just he he lets down his guard, Shway. He's more himself. I like it. Literally, Fashka. لك الفرق يا زلمه مش معقول قياسيات دايره بتضلك مبورد وعم بتقيس ثيابك لا بتلزق ولا بتبزق بتقيس احلى ثياب بالفاشن زون الحق اللي فرجيت شغله السبادرينات كانت مكمله مع الثياب كلها بنكمل تحت يعني البوكسرات والكالسات من جميعهم والكاسكتات مع انواعها كلها واشمل كاسكتات بتعرفوا اجمل شو جوتشي الجينزات هن اجمل جينزات طلع شاف سكات اه موديلات طلع موجود بكل قياسات الحقن اللي فرجيك حق هول القياسات كلها كل حدا عم بنبش على قياساته حيلاقيها بالفاشن زون وكل بدي اياه يجي على الفاشن زون اسعار رائعه I like the Travis Scott T-shirt that they had. If you want to commemorate the death of of all those innocents at the Travis Scott concert, you can wear it. Um, okay, it looks like a really huge place. It is. They keep referring to it as a mall. هلا الحيلو لك هيدا مول مش محل. إليو إلي again. Look at that. على بنا منو تاي لجوفي عم ندية. بقوسي بعرف انكم انقصتوا بس بتحبوني لو انقصتوا بدي اقول شغله لصاحب محل الفاشن زون اللي هو يوبلا ركزوا على هذا الموضوع هيدا الزلمه خيب صار يعرفني انه انا بقوس على شغلتي امبارح دقيت له قلت له يوبلا ما لي غيرك بدي هيدا الشوز وما عم لاقي منه واليوم الصبح كان عندي الشوز يعني بدي اقول لكم انه من بعد اليوبلا ما حدا يفوت بالفاشن لانه الفاشن خلق لإله وهو النمبر 1 وغير محلات تروح تفتح بالي تعالوا لعندي بالليله منيحه يا سو انا ما كنت عارف قد يوبلا از ملك الفاشن ابيرنتلي بكل لبنان بس اي ثينك يعني ما بعرف اليو سيمز تو لايك يوبلا لا مور ذان جوفي كانه بيحبوا لا يوبلا بس جوفي ما بيتيقوا انا دايا بس تو مي ذير باكج يعني يوبلا وجوفي بيجوا سوا اف يو لايك وان يو ماست لاف ذا اذر او لا كانوا سوا وقت الايمو فيز لايك ميبي هي واز بارت اوف ذا باك هو اليو ما بحس وي هاف وي هاف سم فوتج بس سيمز تو كلوز ماون لان ذاتس لايك ميبي Halalik, there's got to be a camaraderie between all Lebanese barbers. There's got to be something in common, some commonality. Jovi, yalla, بعد عنا نزلة. شوفوا شوفوا another tour. يعني في أحلى من هيك تيشرت. أجمل تيشرت هيدا. هلا في صراحة. خلاص. كمان a Travis Scott t-shirt. هيدا مش محل هيدا مول. Fashion zone. تلاك مول هيدا. ما بدك كل واحد طلع على تيك توك وحكي وعم بيقول نحنا منبيع ومنبيع. تع بيع وتع اشتري عنا يعني بيع بضاعتك غير مطرح وتع اشتري عنا يلا الحقني حبيبي بتشتري شي هلا صار فيه بتشتري شي وجينزات ما بتلاقوا منهم بحياتكم لايكوا صف 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 كله وهذا القشاط بيشتري اطخر ار ذي ليجيت براند ولا بروبي تقليد بعدكم عم بتشوفوا برملي هونيك ليك ولا هونيك طلع ليك 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 شابوه ملبقه مع الجينز والشوز كله الالوان 
Because that's what you really want. I love when he, I love him walking around just like putting his hands on everything. Mafi, you want colors? Fashion zone. Mafi, what the heck? That they look, it's a look, it's a good looking store. I could be speaking out of turn, so I'm just assuming based on the you know what I mean? That this can't be legit, but anyways, we've seen enough about you. This is everything we know so far. If you hair zone, had the fashion zone. That's where they are. If we want to find you, we have to go there, and uh, we'd love to go there and meet both of these gentlemen someday. And also, we got just got to make one clarification. Last week, we saw this video a little bit late after Mahkina on the on the Jovi thing. We found this TikTok of Elio Ilay. I'm bitmaniac ala Jovi. Hatayne in a TikTok that we made, but we couldn't put it in the video. Let's react to it now. Bonjour. أهلا بس حابين نسألك ليش هالقد فايت الفاشن تبعك؟ برو ما بعرف بس أنا هيك خلقت يعني الفاشن بدمي في كثير بيعلقوا على السوالفه بس إنه أنا ما بقدر أعيش بلاهم حتى إذا بتشوف بوت البوت تبعي كل كل العالم بتسألني إنه ليش هيك بدي ركز على البوت شوي إيه رجعت على عندي أبو المعروف وشارك بجملتنا بس صديقنا اللزقة عملنا وحدة ميع <تصفيق> I've never seen him. I'm bit dahak al adam and elbow. So now we made a TikTok last week, just a quick compilation of of us discovering who Jovi was. We we posted it on Instagram where it got like five thousand views. And we posted it on TikTok where it got over 120,000 views, which again is just insane the way TikTok works versus Instagram. Anyways, 5,000 views on Instagram, Meshi, 120,000 on TikTok. And we got a whole bunch of comments, people thinking that we're bullying Jovi, people thinking that we're bullying Yupala. Folks, we're not bullying anyone. We love these guys. We love Jovi. We love Yupala. We were just shocked at who Jovi was, Ebel, and like how he is now because his personality has taken like a 180 bus. We're not at all making fun of them, but like, I'm a huge fan of Jovi and Yupala. I want to meet both of them. Well, there were a lot of comments like, Hala, we never ever called Jovi or Yupala gay. We never hinted at anything with their sexuality. We don't know. We don't care. I have no idea, honestly. But a lot of the comments, you know, like, eh, hey, that yeklo ebel. First of all, they're free to do whatever the fuck they want. No one cares if that's true. For, as you guys know, yeah, give her, give her a bag. As you guys know, we support gay people. This is our the gay fox, okay, here. We all the support. So if Jovi and Yupala by any chance uh, are uh, are in love with one another, we fully love and support them. We have Actually, no I root for that. Like I wanted to, to Me yeah, no, I ship them, yeah. No, Me too. They're awesome. They're, I love them. So th we're not even saying or hinting that that's the case, but if that's the case, cuz kill the comments Nizleen, like, what the fuck? When we don't care. We're not bullying them. And again, we're not saying anything about their sexuality. I'm just saying is that if they are, we love them all the same. It doesn't matter. Speaking of Elio and the historical videos and old videos of Jovi, we found an old video of Elio being uh, pranked by Kamil Asmar ala ta'ishu teko al-ghayra. Now that's fucking awesome. So uh, here, let's watch the whole thing. Come on, this is going to see an old side of Elio that we haven't seen. And I haven't seen this thing in full, to be honest with you. So let's go. 100% stage. What a legend, best Hal Kamil. still going strong. It, it did feel kind of staged for me. Hasayta staged, because it's yeah. I don't think your first reaction is to kick the customer out. You tell him, yo, dude, shut the fuck up or something. But Kamil, Kamil is. no, he's such a bad actor. I wouldn't say that. But no, just to me, the whole scenario felt a little bit. But anyways, we love. I love having this video. I love seeing the old him. Speaking of of El Elio Shalhoub. Uh, came across um, his brother on TikTok. I think it's his brother. His name is Sherbil Shalhoub. He's a barber at Clippers and Scissors. We'll check this out. He sounds just like him. Yeah, Jamea. We're not going to work with you, so weird and so cringe. I love. Oh. <laughs> I feel bad for Ahlun. Same catchphrase. Oh, it's just so funny. All He's these. obviously copying. 
هلا اكيد اتس فاني ذات في كل هالوزاوز عم يتمشوا عاملين ماسك ورا لايك بيلينغ اند اول ذات ستاف ذاتس وات اي فايند ذا فانيز شوفوا لي هالقصه شو مرد وحلوه من وين جاي يا Probably, but other. just kitir bish the beard, the voice, the the sleeve, ma uh, Anyways, there are two. Is there a third barber? Shall who? We'll find out soon enough because of TikTok. Akid. Another barber came in. Salon Alouish. Alheda came in. I just came across him on 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 the TikToks. Check it out. عندي أصشار وحلاء الدم وتنظيف وشه ومانيكير بديكير وبوجاما ومساج وسولاريوم وعندي وعندي سولاريوم وشوفوا هذا الصغير شو مهضوم ما بدو إلا علوش وصلوا ليكو قد ما إيدي سحلية كيف نام كيف سبايكي بدي اعمل سبور تشايلد يا عم بحط له هير سبراي للصبع انا ذاتس وات ايم كونفيوز لايك واي ديز ذا كيد نيد هير سبراي ذس هون ذس از ذا ويردست اد اي فاوند لمحل تياب شايفه يمكن بحياتي اوكي شوفوا ميرو الله معك ريس حبيب قلبي الله معك حبيب لال يا خيي عم بقول لك وين البنطلون صار له شهرين شوي عندي شو عندي ما بقى تعيدها هيدي هيدي عندي لإلي انا هيدي عندي لإلي انا ما بقى تعيدها هاي ما بقى تعيدها هيدي ما بقى تعيدها سامية ما بقى تعيدها هيدي هيدا هو البنطلون ريس من بعد ما ضربنا الزلمة من بعد ما ضربناه هلا اجى هيدا هو هيدا هو هيدا هو طيب ما ما توقفنا من الاخر من الاخر عندي كلمة عندي لعلوش وبس عازمك لعندي على الصالون احلى محل ميرو بالعالم لاحلى محمد جانا واحلى شباب هاو فاكينج ويرد واز ذات يو جو ان ذير بتشبي بتسفي الامبلويز هيدا ذس از ستيج اوبفيسلي اكيد ستيج بس انه لايك بس انه بهدل ايه بايخ ولايك ايش ذس از بوستد على هيس تيك توك اي جست لاف ذا فاكت ان هي وين ان ذير هي هيتس هيم ذن لحول بنطلون اه ذير از ذا بانز ذن ويذن تو سكندز اتس جست سو ستوبد اني ويز مور علوش عم نصور؟ قلب قلب من الاخر عندي مع قصه شعر وحلاقه دم ماسك مجانا روح بس هي هاز ا هاي بروفايل كاستمر الكينج رولو كين عم تقول لك عم ترد علي على التليفون مين؟ ملك ملك الصالونات بلبنان عندك يعني صالون علوس يعني فرداه عندك شو القصة هيك؟ شو البناية؟ أكيد أكيد شو بتقول يا كبير؟ روحوا لعندهم روحوا لعندهم بشرفكم There's too many crossovers happening and there's too much side, you know what I mean? Like there's too many people. It's getting overwhelming, شوي. These are two new barbers that we've added to the collection. Sherbil Shalhoub والعلوش 
last week, folks, we got a, we got a comment on our video last week from Oh My Jad, a very famous Lebanese comedian. He is the what do you call it? He's like the musician, the, the band leader, Taba Hisham Haddad's like band on Hisham Haddad's show. Is your show still a thing? I genuinely have no idea. I mean, no, I, no. <laughs> no, uh, I have no clue about the show. It's like a show. It's like a late night talk show, like a Jay Leno style. But my Hisham Haddad. I'm not sure if it's still happening or not. But oh my God, has been a. He's been doing stand up. He's been doing comedy for a while. Look, I gotta be honest. I never found the guy to be very funny. Like not only that, I used to find him to be particularly unfunny. Like every time I would come across one of his videos, I'm like, damn, that's lame. He used to do these videos called quickies. It's like these short little quick things. He did one with like chips a la khel I was like, this is unbelievably unfunny. Um, ooh, he left us a comment on last week's episode where he wrote, glad I found this podcast. I replied, I'm like, you might want to take that back. And he's like, nah, I love the gossip. Keep it up. Which I found was very nice of him. Like he was a good sport. Uh, then I, I screenshotted his message, his, his comment, and I put it on Instagram. He's like, glad I found this podcast. And I was like, please unfind it. Look, I was trying to be... I think I think I was kind of a dick for doing that. Um, I don't know what it is with me and like my aversion to like helping this podcast. You know what I mean? Even if someone that we don't necessarily love likes our show, why do I have a problem with that? I don't know, really. I'm an idiot. He's got like 300 something thousand followers on Instagram. Like if this guy shared our show, it would probably help a little bit. I would say, here's me being like, no, fuck off. So... I really have nothing personal against the guy. I've never met him. He's probably very nice. And actually, by doing some research, I went into his TikToks. I'm like, let me download some of his TikToks. Let, let me prove to you guys how unfunny he is. And here's what, what happened. He's not that unfunny. He had a couple of funny videos that I genuinely didn't laugh at because I was like, ah, oh, not too bad. And he's like a family man. He's got kids. He's got a wife. His wife seems like a sweetheart. She seems like very nice. She, she participates in a lot of his videos with him. So like, she's just... She seems like just a fun, chill person. Their kids seem adorable. And anytime you, there's someone that I don't like, as soon as I find out that they're a family man, they automatically win like 20, they go up by like a few points. So now I feel like an asshole, <laughs> to, to be honest with you guys. But let's still, let's watch some of his videos. And I'm going I'm to see if you guys can laugh, okay? We have five videos downloaded. If you guys laugh at any of those, we take back everything we've said about Oh My God. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Fair. If no. you guys laugh, it doesn't Let the count. Games begin. It doesn't count if I laugh or not. You guys are gonna be the judge, and you guys tell me if I was wrong. Look, that's a TikTok trend, which I find really funny because it's very stupid. Andrew Tate when Andrew Seven walks in. Yeah. Really? But did you? I'm shaking like the format of the. Head. The format. Eh. But that you guys didn't laugh, so. Yeah. Uh, Zero. I like it, Buzz. So what do we count this as? Laugh, laugh. You need any laughter. Okay, okay. But they shoot the heck. Like they're not even original. He's literally getting like what other people do. But that's TikTok in let's, general. Let's so. get a, a third one. In the war in the second war, there's a general Russian in the middle of the war. They told them to go. They told them to listen to them. If they're not capable. No, you laughed. What kind of laughter was that? Was that a... Laughter? I know that's so stupid. <laughs> okay. And to be fair, a lot of his jokes are lame, and his wife like calls him out, like, "Hey, the beicha, hey, the habal." So I think his thing is uh, lame jokes. His thing is is boomer humor. Yeah, which is Mishan fine, you know? It's, uh, I know. it's funny, but it's but he's, he's a nice guy, though. He's a nice guy. A fourth, so you laughed once, I guess. We'll give him one out of three so far. Story time. Hmm? This would have been way funnier if it ended with a book. بس هذا الاخر انه اه مش هيك قصدته ذات جاست روند ات فور مي كان طلع له لاف منه بس اتس نوت ذات باد اي جيت وات هيز جوينج فور وذ ذس وان يو نو وات اي مين ات جيتس بوينتس فور تراينج اند هيرز ذا فاينل وان اوكي اوكي خلينا نشوف هيدا الترند هيز ا نايت بس هي هاز بور هايجين 
So interns, what is your verdict on Oh My Jad? Unfunny, but he seems really sweet as a human being. Like, eh, he, he really is a nice person. I know I follow him in Zaman. I still do follow him. Ah, well, uh, but eh, eh, but uh, I know not my kind of humor. But I appreciate uh, I appreciate it. Hello, sahla bi my jad ala the podcast. Thank you for watching. I don't know how you found the show, and I'm glad you didn't find an old episode where I was kind of talking about you doing a, a TikTok live ma Joseph Shada and I was like, "Why the fuck is Oh my jad doing a TikTok live ma Joseph Shada?" That was a long time ago. I'm sorry for being a dick on Instagram. <laughs> but yeah, uh, welcome to the show. Ooh, everyone be nice to Oh my jad in the comments. Let's uh, hey, you know what I mean? Uh, I I don't know how some of these people find the show, but they find it. They want to watch it. They want to enjoy it. Who am I to stand in their way? And who am I to stand in the way of this podcast's success? You know, I've done that enough, I think. Uh, let's take a few moments to talk about the Lord of the Rings, the new brand new series, The Rings of Power, that just dropped on Amazon Prime. Daddy Jeff Bezos just dropped a billion dollars to make the most expensive television series of all time. They paid around $250 million for the rights to make the series and then the Eight episodes themselves cost around 700 to 750 million dollars. 450. 450. I know the total price tag is a billion dollars, so. including the rights. So they spent. And again, 450 better rights. I, th- I think the whole thing is a billion. Yeah. <laughs> Our boys got a billion dollars to make a series on the Lord of the Rings. Now, just as some background, I love the Lord of the Rings, and to prove it to you guys, uh, I got my. Lord of the Rings Blu-ray extended edition set. This is one of my most prized possessions. I own a lot of physical oh, media. Oh, I'll show them what's inside. It's so pretty. You got the beautiful, you know, you got beautiful collector set. You got a map of Middle Earth over here. You got the three movies in black. I know 4K movies all come in black boxes, but this was pretty unique back in the day. It was Blu-rays are usually blue. I love, I love this collection. Okay, I love the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I used to own them on just standard def, standard edition DVDs. I bought them again. And extended, so I I bought these twice. I even own the Hobbit trilogy on Blu-ray, and I don't even like the Hobbit movies. I have all three of them. Uh, Nobody likes the Hobbit. A lot of I love the Hobbit. A lot of people like the Hobbit movies, so I, I even own those. Um, I've seen them countless times. Every few years, I sit back down and I watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I made my parents watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I think it is like the perfect mix of movie making. Like the Lord of the Rings trilogy brings together so many. Um, facets of movie making, from model making and miniatures and beautiful costume design and beautiful visual effects and and everything, everything is. Just, they are a triumph in in cinema. Uh, the Return of the King, I mean, walked away with eleven Oscars at the Academy Awards. Like the the movies are legendary. Their pedigree is untouchable. There is nothing I can say uh, that that's going to change. You know the legacy of the Lord of the Rings movies. The Hobbit trilogy. Eh, It's not as good. Um, I tried to convince myself that I liked them <laughs> when they came out. I like the first two. The third one j- legitimately sucks. And if you guys know Lindsay Ellis on YouTube, she's fantastic. I stole the hashtag engagement thing from her. Uh, she did a three-parter of why the Hobbit trilogy sucks, which if you watch it, uh, sh- it'll change your life. So definitely check that out. Um, so, Rings of Power. I was skeptical. I'm not gonna lie. The trailers uh, looked very beautiful. It looks like a billion dollars, but it also felt soulless and very empty. I was like, "This looks pretty, but this doesn't feel like Lord of the Rings." I watched the first two episodes, um, and I gotta say, I'm not impressed. And for a show that cost a billion dollars, other than the visuals, which it looks gorgeous, it, every every dollar they spent on that show, you can see it on the screen. It looks beautiful. It's purely eye candy, and on a couple matter, I just like I'm subtle and I'm but fresh. It's very nice. It's great, and I'm watching it on my big TV. It's uh, it's it's really nice, but like the characters and the story are kind of like I don't know, man. It's a little bit dry. And look, there's and also I don't know. Comparing it to Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones really hurt the Lord of the Rings because when Game of Thrones came out, it's another kind of fantasy. Lord of the Rings is like silly. You got hobbits and. Running around and oh, I'm a hobbit. So like, it's like okay, it's cool, but it's like you can't take it as seriously. And and Lord of the Rings is very black and white. Like you got good versus evil, the cute little sweet hobbits versus the evil orcs and whatever. Ooh, uh, and it's all, it's also kind of racist. Let's not lie about it. You got the West versus the East, and in Return of the King, all the evil people are from the East or Arabs or whatever. There's not a single black person in the Lord of the Rings. Like it was different times. We get it. A, but no. 
Game of Thrones made it harder for me to... Yeah, and it, once I really got into Game of Thrones, it made Lord of the Rings seem sillier in retrospect. And now, having House of the Dragon and Game of Thrones being out at the same time, concurrently, and any, every week right now, you're going to get an episode of Lord of the Rings and an episode of Game of Thrones, which is insane. I, I very much prefer Game of Thrones <laughs> at this point than Lord of the Rings. I got to say it. And it hurts me to say it. Did I even, I even used to, I bought a gold ring when I was in middle school. And I used to wear it around a necklace, like, to school. I used to walk around with a fucking gold ring, man. Like, that's how much I was into this shit. I don't know, man. The show is just not doing it for me. Again, it's just two episodes. Also, there's something that bothers me. There's, there's an elf in there who has a fade. Like, his haircut is a fade. I'm like, why the fuck do you have a fade in Middle Earth? That's just distracting. I don't care that he's black. A lot of people are mad that there's a black dwarf and a black elf. Who gives a shit? That's the least of the show's problems. Why does he have a fade? That's, that's way more distracting. But anyways, I'm, I'm excited for the, the first episode was the slowest, but I didn't hate it. The second episode was more fun. I just, I, I can't put my finger on it. And yeah. what do you think of it so Like far? episode one to me, Darta and three seat sittings. I mean, it was so slow for me, but I was interested. But still, can but oh, I no, it didn't catch me. I'll add was House of the Dragon. I binged that shit. Mm-hmm. Episode two, I really, really liked it. But I mean, it was slow. Well, character build up, it's just lacking. I mean, they're trying. Yeah, give Game of Thrones episode one. They introduced the entire cast Ashwa mm-hmm. by one episode. I'm like, like, what the fuck? That's too many people. For all Rings of Power, I'm being like, heck. Yeah, the first half, I'll refer to all kill. You barely get attached to any of them. Heck, it's just too much to take in. I agree. And, and we've already had two hours. It's not like we're, we're, we're judging this too early. It's two hours out of eight, and I'm still not invested in the story. I'm still not 100% sure what the story is. When you watch The Fellowship of the Ring, within the first two hours, you're totally immersed. You're with Frodo. You're with Sam. You're with Gandalf. You know what the mission is. You're fucking right there with them. Hone, it's been two hours out of eight hours. What's the story? What are the stakes, really? Do I care? Do I not care? I don't really care. Like, Galadriel seems cool. She's interesting. Ooh, young Elrond. They're the only characters yeah, that I like. Galadriel is the so only far. interesting one. I think the finale will be so it's nine hours. Nine hours. The Lord of the Rings trilogy is nine hours. Comparing the first two hours of Fellowship of the Ring versus the first two hours of this series, I'm not that. I'm just not that invested. And it's just weird that like someone like me who's loved this franchise my whole life, I'm just disappointed that I'm not more excited for something. And we're getting an hour of new Lord of the Rings stuff every week. I should be fucking going crazy, and I'm not. And again, the fact that Game of Thrones, and like Game of Thrones, man, like the shit that, that is happening in, in, in House of the Dragon, you got, again, like incest, r- rape, fucking adults marrying 12-year-olds, 12 12 all the nastiest shit, like, but it's just, I don't know, for some reason, it's just so much more real and all the violence and... You feel like it's a real thing? You, you like, know? I got you. I have to choose. I'm going to choose House of the Dragon to watch. It's after Age of... And Lord of the Rings feels a bit childish. It feels sure. childish at this point. And I'm sad. Again, I'm, I'm like... I, I look at all the Spider-Man shit behind me. Look at how the set is decorated. I'm, I'm, I love childish things. But, like, it's just comparing it to, Lord, to Game of Thrones. It is super childish. And, again, like, the, you have the little hard foots. They're, like, young. The, like, hobbits before hobbits were... It's like, I don't know, man. Running around. Guys, I want to watch them, but I'm time soon. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings? <laughs> you should no, you should watch it, but it's like I don't know. It's just I'm not loving it. Definitely watch it because it's gonna look great. You might really like it. I just checked to make sure. Basically, House of the Dragon show was not the first episode. Rings of Power, mm-hmm. but in the USA only. Not the episode one for free on YouTube. Rings of Power did that. No, House of the Dragon. No when uh, when Rings of Power launched the first oh, two no episodes, way. House of the Dragon launched their first episode on YouTube for free, like. Like, make sure of that, because I don't I just want... checked. It's on YouTube? HBO. Not our YouTube, USA. My YouTube is region, comment split. Mm. But if you have your... You, you can watch the first House of the Dragon episode on YouTube for free. Kill them. Damn. Yeah, so like you said, if I had to choose between... I, I either get to finish Rings of Power, I, I get to finish House of the Dragon, I would weirdly enough have to go with House of the Dragon. And that's considering that I hated the ending of Game of Thrones and that they, like, that they betrayed us, Benioff and Weiss... Even with that in mind, I'm still go- I would still go with House of the Dragon. That's like the beauty of it, and you don't have to choose. 
That is, and not only that, there's also, if you're into Marvel, there's She Hulk dropping every week. If you're into Star Wars, there's Cassian and Endor. She Hulk is getting such, like, it's getting review bombed. Like, it's all CGI. I'm, I'm sure snippets, but stuff like I'm sure. It's not that bad. Look, it's a fun, light show. People are complaining because people have, like, nerds in the States have nothing better to do to complain. Like, they, a black elf, that's woke. Oh, She Hulk, she hates men. That's woke. Woke garbage. It is, it's, it's a fun, fine show. If you've read the She Hulk comics, they're very similar to the, to the, to the show but there's going to be like i think starting next week there's going to be star wars every week marvel show every week game of thrones and lord of the rings it's a great time to be a nerd honestly if you're a nerd and if you're into that sort of thing you're not going to go hungry for any television all i wanted to say was that i've seen the first two episodes of lord of the rings i'm going to keep watching it's just shocking to me that this show costs a billion dollars and the most it gets out of me is eh I guess that's good enough. I, I, a part of me would say about it's too early to judge, but you know, he I have my uh, two episodes in our plan, basically, you know. In the first two hours, I'm sure, I'm sure it's gonna get better. But I think that Nuri, you could, if you're Lord of the Rings, or she, it takes place four thousand years before Lord of the Rings. No, 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 no. I've seen everything, but and all the shit, like I can't keep up. But I'm sure I'm in the show. I'm in the like. I mostly get this new news from you guys. <laughs> oh, well, that, there is a lot to. to Definitely watch it. It's visually. Yeah, sorry, but the whole she. Manuela, your episode last week. I don't come here, nope. Oh yeah. Holy shit, be hard. It's so good. Like huh? the first thirty-six minutes was just too slow for me. I'll try to better by then. But then after that, what I come out to, it just kept getting better and better and be hard, be hard. It's such a good movie. The reveal of of the UFO, what it, wow, what it is, and all of that. Holy shit. No spoilers, but yeah, it's, no spoiler. holy it's shit. so crazy. Visually, I've never seen anything like it. To be honest with you, I'm gonna take a second. I'm actually gonna talk about vid- a video game. Can I, would you guys give me three minutes? I'm going to talk about a video game. I just finished. This is an old game. It came out in like 2016, 2017. It's called Hellblade Send You a Sacrifice. You play as this Wow. Wow. You play as this woman with mental illness. Uh, you hear voices in your head and all that stuff. It's crazy. Is it my headphones? Yeah, yeah, with headphones, with noise canceling headphones. I fucking hate that game. I finished it. It's great. So let me yeah, let me. beautifully made, beautiful visuals. Uh, I've never played anything like quite so weird and trippy. So not fun. So not fun to play. Yeah, hey, it's not fun at all. But not fun at all, man. It's yeah, a different I'm, experience. I'm sorry, man. When I play video games, I want to have some fun. I want to be immersed in the story, but I also want to have fun. This game was stressful as fuck. Like, I was playing this yeah, one. Yeah, it served it. It's a psychological game. I don't like the horror game, but it's not fun. It wants to make you like, hey, I'm not Let me tell you why... I- why I failed, why it failed for me. Because there's a second one coming out very soon. I do not want to play it for like two years. Like, خلاص, I got my dose of this. I do not want to play the sequel. But then she sent in to jump back into this world. It was just so dark. I could not wait for the game to end at the end. Yeah, I still recommend it. If you want to play something weird and trippy, play it. But it's like, it's not fun. It's just stressful and dark and annoying. Here in Mishkli Fia, and it was made by such a small team. For gameplay mechanics, work, it's like kind of clingy. But the story... I don't know, man. Yeah, the story's fine. It's all good. Very well done. And very impressive that it's done by such a small team. I don't want to play the sequel, at least for another two years. Uh, it was not seven hours. It was like at least 10 or 11. Whoever said it was seven hours fucking lied. I'm so glad I'm done with it, though. And I, w- I want to sell my copy. Anybody interested in buying a copy of Senua Hellblade? Hellblade? Uh, hit me up. I'll sell it for cheap. My God, la next week I have to catch up with everything. This is a video game. <laughs> I you know. feel so left out. No, I'm back on a series. Did you play game? Did you play gaming? It's fine. No pressure. My FOMO. <laughs> uh, guys, rec- recommend Noor some fun video games that she can play in the comments. What kind? Do you like video games? Oh. Uh, I know I haven't played anything, but I know I can try. Ah, that's my. Don't recommend anything. Well, that was that, folks. I uh, hope you guys had some fun. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this episode of Do Not Worry. Number 70. Holy shit. That we got, that's like seven seasons of Squid Game, folks. We've got seven seasons. You want to help us do 70 more? Support us on Patreon, folks. Consider joining our Patreon, one of our, one of our many tiers. Um, let me thank some lovely blonde patrons like Nur Jabour, Michel Tawil, Joseph Sarkis, Joe Khouri, Ziad Mgherbel, Fabien Abou Moussa, Melting around. Thank you guys so much. And again, welcome to Diana Mukaddam and superhero patrons like 6090 Monkeys, Joey To, Chris Habib, Danny Karam. Thank you so much. And our God tier patrons, Jessica Ann, Muhammad Zain, and Muhammad Namani. Bless you guys. We could not do this without you. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. We need your help. Uh, like the video, leave a comment, 
Subscribe to the channel, become a Do Not Warrior. Help us get to the 10,000 subscriber mark. Uh, interns, anything you'd like to add? Do not, Do not worry. worry.